what's up and welcome back to another Next Up interview. I'm here with Beatrice Dixon and she is the founder of the Honey Pot Company. So welcome to my show. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. My name is Beatrice Dixon. I'm the founder of the Honey Pot. In the beginning, it wasn't easy to like start this company. And there was a lot of times that it almost didn't happen. If Target didn't take the chance on us, we wouldn't be in all the retailers that we're in today. But what's really dope is they helped us with the product line, the packaging. They really like changed my life. The reason why it's so important for Honey Pot to do well is so the next black girl that comes up with a great idea, she could have a better opportunity. That means a lot to me. Where did the idea for it come from? So I had, um, I had bacterial vaginosis for almost a year. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, it was crazy. I mean, it would go away and it would come back. It was a recurring yeah. thing. It, it wasn't like constant, but it was like mm -hmm. every month, like death and taxes that was back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, um, and I was just going through a lot. And one night I went to sleep and I had a dream and my grandmother had came to me because mm. she said she was watching me go through this thing. And it was, it was, when I think about it now, it's so, like, incredible yeah. that she would think so much of me to travel through dimensions to meet me in a dream and give me a recipe. For me, it, it, I couldn't take it lightly. I had to take it wherever I could. Walking through the emotions of seeing something through and seeing the invention actually work. Like, that's amazing. I, I just had an um, insurmountable amount of gratitude for it. Um, At that moment, did you know that you would parlay that into a million dollar business? I realized that it was working. I was like, wow, I got to do this for other people. No matter what woman you are, you deal yeah. with your, your vaginal area. No and it has a, it, it, every woman your has lifetime, their... <laughs> your coochie is going to blow up <laughs> once. You understand what I'm saying? So you're in the consumer packaged goods business. Mm -hmm. Do you see a lot of us in that business to begin with? I didn't use I, I didn't used to see a lot of us because mm -hmm. I've been I've been in consumer packaged goods now in one way or another for like ten years. You wrote a Target commercial. Your braids were long, beautiful, long, light white, purplish tips. I had some green in there. It yeah, so it was good, real cute. I, loved it. I was. I remember. Where was I? I'm a, I looked I'm like a boring. real black girl in that. Yes. Commercial, right. No, and that's exactly what drew me. I was sitting there and I saw you just walking through the aisles, and I'm like, oh, who is this? Like, is this the new head of Target? There was a lot of positivity right out the back but there were certain individuals that had a lot to say so you've mm -hmm. been quoted saying that that says everything about them and nothing to do with you so if yeah. they feel this way so be it because even though you felt that way every day seeing more and more reviews or two stars I, one star you I, know I, what it is sister what'd you say yeah i don't look at none of that Right That's now, wise. I don't, I don't, I don't look at the news or unless yeah. you are in my life. Yes. And you love me, and you care about me, and you do yep. for me. Yep. And I do for you. That mm -hmm. is the only time that an yep. opinion matters to me. And and then also at the same time, it's like you don't know what those humans' upbringings were. What if they were taught something polar opposite of what I live by, right? I wouldn't deem them wrong. That's just they're, different. Because they're, they're not they're not wrong. They because that, in their mind, they're only living in, what they've been taught. In everybody's mind, we're all living yep. what we've been taught. And we all yeah. are, we all are grappling with our own emotional intelligence and all mm -hmm. those things. It's not my responsibility to manage what somebody else thinks. Of. So I wonder how this newfound fame has impacted you. Like, You've been on The Breakfast Club, you've been on The Real, you've been on Sister Circle, all three platforms that I watch heavily. How does that those feel, just, though? Those are just moments in time that happened. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and I had the opportunity to shout my brand's name, sh you know, loud. Yeah. And I have gratitude for it. But that was whatever days those were. I'm here You're now. right. You're in now. I'm here now. Yeah. Well, when you're not... Running a million dollar business, inspiring <laughs> everyone, black, brown, and white, and in between. What would I find Beatrice Dixon doing in her free time? What do you do when you're not running the world? I'm listening to music. Right now, I'm listening to music. I'm cooking. 
I'm smoking mm. a joint. I'm drinking some <laughs> wine. You know, I'm working out. Good. I'm spending time with my fam. Between the years of 2012 and 2013, you would test out your products on whatever woman was, you know, uh, willing. Like, hey, sure. Was there any fear or hesitation when you were approaching people? Like, hey, let me of put course. on your skin and hopefully it doesn't react yeah, can weird. I, or... Can I borrow your vagina? Like, of course, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Scared money don't make money. When it comes to business, and when it comes to like being relentless about it like that, yeah, I'm it doesn't not, stop I'm you. I'm not scared, bro. Like I'm here <laughs> for it. Like yes, it's, I want. Well, you, can I use? Can you? Do you want to try my product? And if you don't, cool. But like, yeah, I'm. A, I'm, I'm a still gonna person. try. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, even with what you're doing, with mm -hmm. what what you told me you're aspiring to, that has to be your mentality. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because if you constantly live in this place of like, look, I am a journalist. I am of whatever yep. it is that you feel like you are. Mm -hmm. You know, the consistency behind that is that you really believe that. Oh, for sure. You, know, you have to believe it first yep. in order for that thing to be achievable. But have you ever considered doing self-help talks or motivational speaking as you burn your incense? Right. <laughs> I'm sure. I, I'm sure I will. I just, um, not right now. I'll write books and, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm sure I'm going to do all that shit, but I, but not yet. Like, yeah, you know, I, I got, I feel, it's okay I to, to I take it to slow. Get, yeah. I have to give Honey Pot so much of me mm -hmm. that I got to save something for me. Are you a heels or a sneaker girl? Sneakers, Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah. Tiva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the days of I got these cute little um like <laughs> it's awful. They have like hair like some kind of some feather fur, but they uh -huh. are fantastic <laughs> and they're so ghetto. But I love them. Of so course, much. but that's what makes it. <laughs> yeah, and no, it like totally because I'm like yeah, and like you know mm -hmm. all the things. No, I'm not a heels girl at all. I I'm I go for comfort. I wear heels for special for special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And even those, I'll try and sit and think, okay, how can I do a sassy sandal or a cute stick? Like, how can I figure out how to slide? Maybe if my dress is the floor, no one will see. Right, because, right. To be honest, I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't right. want to walk. I don't want to walk around anymore. Most Black women, we have found the art of versatility in our hair and our hairstyles. Mm -hmm. Do you partake in the wig wearing or is your main go-to alternate style is braids? Um, right now it's braids in my mm -hmm. hair. This is my hair. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I went through a, through a sew-in stint, like maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. I'm not opposed to weave. I just do what I want to do. But I like what you do. No, I like, I, I like appreciate your that. Yeah. So much. For sure. I like yours. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. And you got a thank you. Oh, thank you. You too. I'm a, um. Yeah, I'm about to rip these lashes off and make some oatmeal. Yeah. All right, y'all. I want to thank you for watching another Next Up interview. And thank you, special thanks to Beatrice Dixon for being a wonderful guest. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, I've been your host, Kaylin Ryan. Thank you for watching, and we're out. <laughs> Bye.